Hi everyone. Well, here it is, my finished book of answers. And right away you're going to notice that I changed this. I didn't like the way the other one looked. It was just too muddy looking and um, I don't know. I like the color of the turquoise and I inked it with, uh, is it brush corduroy I think it's called? Yeah, so that's the only thing I changed on here and it's all been Mod Podged. And then I made all of my tags and look how pretty they look from the side. And then here you'll note, this is what gives it that Rolodex effect are these knobs. I picked these drawer pulls up from Michael's for 50 cents each. And then when I got home, my husband, he said if you heat them from the inside, so I'm sure if you took your hot gun and protected your hand on this and heated it, the little screw will come right out. So that's how I got that out. So I'll just give you a little spin. See my pretty seam bindings from Christina? Christina Betts, thank you. So I'll give you a little spin of how beautiful this looks. And this is from the other side. And the larger tags I trimmed with this Stampin' Up! ribbon. I love it. So those are the biggest tags. So what I did is I made 12. I think I might have made 13, but my intention was to make 12 tags. So I'll take you through them. So this first one, they're all in cellophane bags. And it says... Dream big, reach high, live, love, laugh, and sigh. The intention is that you just lay it on top of the book like that and reflect on it for a while. Just leave it in a corner on your dresser or something like that. So that's tag number one. This is another big one. And it, it says, typically I would pull them out of the cellophane, but I cannot because I have one hand. You can take no credit for beauty at 16, but if you are beautiful at 60, it will be your soul's own doing. I love that. And if you notice, I have a little bit of twine at the ends of these tags because they're upside down because the roses are on the bottom end of it. So we'll just pop that one in there. This one is just a smaller one. It says, just simply let it go. Actually, I got my grandsons to help me. They had so much fun. I gave them a whole bunch of plain tags and some distress ink and water and a craft mat and showed them how to um, spritz on the mat and then twirl the tags around and first they crumpled them up in their little hands and got all these nice creases and they distressed all of my tags so that one's let it go so they're all different this one has the newsprint and then the back isn't that cool got some graph paper in the back and the crackling This little guy says, be patient. Good lesson for me sometimes, because I sure am not. This one, read between the lines. Look at how that one turned out. Isn't that cool? So fun. Here's another wee guy. Be in the moment. Pay attention, which is what I'm doing today. I'm not feeling good, so I'm still in my pajamas and I'm paying attention to that. Let yourself be loved. The world is too fragile for people who are untrue. I love this one. Love that quote. Nothing that is truly yours can pass you by. So 
Some of these are so beautifully rich and stained. They look so nice. Be present for your life, your love, and yourself. It's engraved in my ring. Doom spiro spero. It means, while I breathe, I hope. So, there's the book. So it looks kind of like a Rolodex. And I adhered these on with both... Um, glue gun and E6000 or 600, whatever that glue is. I use them both because it takes a while for that E600 to dry. So the quick adhesive would have been the glue gun and then it just all dried. So here's the finished book all put back together. I really, truly love this project. And what was really funny, you know, my word for the year was answer. But in reflecting back on all of my journaling, I found that I had written the word surrender or let it go in that form of surrender probably eight different times in eight different entries and not aware of it. So maybe my answer means find the answers and mine is let it go. So yeah, it's going to be interesting as the year unfolds to see how answer reflects itself back to me. So I love this. Love, love, love it. I'm going to put it on the corner of a buffet and leave it out just for a display because I think it's beautiful. It turned out beautifully. I'm so happy with it. And you guys should give it a try. It was super easy and super fun. And you can include your children in it like I did. I include my grandchildren in helping me make the tags. So again, it was from this Somerset Life. And it was this article here, My Book of Grace. And there is my book of answers. So thank you so much for watching, everybody, and uh, I hope you give this a try. And there's lots of fun things in that magazine that I want to try, so I'll keep posting as I do them. So we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.